Hot take people who find chat GPT not useful either haven't used it enough or have an ego problem. To clarify, I'm a developer, and I am impressed of how many of my colleagues think is not useful or don't use it yet. I'm talking about GPT-4. It's like living with a life hack open for everyone to use but people simply don't use it or don't understand how to use it. PD just talking about GPT-4 there is nothing else even close to it. Bard and Bing are BS. It makes software engineering so much better. I can focus on the large problems and architecture. The minutia generate UTC timestamp Python takes 10 seconds to get in there. Show me how to do that but using dependency injection even better. I use it every day and I don't even attempt to prompt engineer or whatever everyone is calling it. I'll literally just type something like Java printout entries in map or Linux move dir. Something like that. I use it to construct long formulas or strings. Sometimes I'll adjust it by prompting again except x y or something like that. I guess I'm just using it at a surface level so I don't typically run into any issues. I'm also a developer and I wholeheartedly agree with your sentiment. Discovering chat GPT felt like I grew a second brain. It genuinely baffles me how some can just shrug this off. Their loss. My gain. Person shrugging. I think it's a godsend. I've moved from industrial programming to C and chat GPT is amazing. I go to it before any search engine. I think it's people that don't know how to properly use it is the issue. I also find being polite and treating it as an equal helps. Or it may be the fact that I'm British and it's the correct thing to do. One thing I love is the new tuning options. LOL. I have mine in the style of Bob from the Bobbyverse series of books with a sarcastic sense of humor. Although I'm tempted to try Crichton from Red Dwarf. I'm an English teacher. H.S. I'm teaching effective prompting. I know students use it. And I might as well show them how to use it. We're having some fun moments using scripts like Professor Synapse. I can't tell you how awesome it is to hand a poor outline or incorrectly phrased sentence back to a student and have them ask an AI for suggestions. For the last 25 years, I had always been struck by the fear that students would either get frustrated if I didn't give them enough direction, or they would just copy my direction and not learn and create. It threatens people's egos that's the bottom line and there's a large chunk out there that see it as a bro to help us out. Lots of people fear its power. Yeah same. It's impossible to live w-o it anymore. Tired of all the I ask GPT some random math question or fill in the gap and it failed bs. People are out there solving real problems with it. Go get yourself a calculator. In 10 years it will be as ubiquitous as the internet. This post makes me wonder how many people insisted on slamming stuff with rocks because the hammer was just a fad. The problem for most laypeople is that they already regard computers and iPhones as magical devices. Without a hint of understanding as to how they operate. So the magical chat GPT is no more impressive to programmers and people who understand computers and know they just do dumb, simple things incomprehensibly fast. LLMs appear as a miracle in doing tasks computers are historically horrible at. It's a total game changer most people won't appreciate until they get their layoff papers. I'm using 3.5 to write and I'm getting usable results. The way angry users talk. I think a lot of people who say chat is dumb are just giving it the crudest of commands and then getting mad when it won't have sex with them. I don't code or anything but it's absurdly helpful to my life. It'll have three ingredients in my fridge. It'll tell chat GPT. And it'll give me a long list of how I can use them. If I am ever doing any task. 
I'll just tell chat GPT and it'll give me the most efficient way to do it. And so on. 100 agree. I worked at a small firm with two bosses. The one with technical knowledge loved it so did I and other colleagues. The one responsible for budget, billing and public relations suffering from a huge fragile ego thought it was a waste of time and money, rolling on the floor laughing. For me personally, it's a matter of distrust. I have gotten so many wrong and unhelpful results to my prompts that I'm only using it with caution. Now, it's useful to a degree. Yes, but it's not the godsend like some people here say. 100 or to GPT-4 being a life hack it is insane. Nothing like I have ever seen. Best coach as well as employee. All in one. Why worry? You have the benefit of curiosity, they don't. I'm helping my wife get set up to use it for her HS English lesson planning. Lady year she was sure it wouldn't be helpful. Now that we started to set it up, she's seeing the immense value it will bring. It could be that she's not really used to the structured kind of thinking that's necessary for programming, but wrapping her head around how to implement it was a challenge. But after a couple of days of setting up templates for use in Code Interpreter, she gets the basics and is tweaking things on her own now. It takes a certain mindset and framework to get the full value from it. I use it as a mid-level DevOps engineer and I completely agree with everything you said. I am shocked how little my coworkers use it. It's a lifesaver as far as I'm concerned. Not just for programming. It's so useful in a number of areas of life and work. Half the time it's more useful than Google to me now. Yeah I use it all the time. I recently started building furniture as a hobby and I ask it for ideas. Tips and tricks all the time. I didn't know what grip tape or washi tape was until I used chat GPT. Yeah. It's not always perfect but it's been extremely helpful and helped me become better at it much faster. It's all about asking it the right questions in the right way. And taking all replies with a grain of salt. Which is not hard to do. I agree. They are just standing in a forest trying to ignore the trees. There is the half for which is an ego problem. There is the other half that despite being programmers, are not able to break down problems in self-contained chunks or just generally struggle with non-ambiguous prompts. Why I use other models instead of chat GPT? 1. It's censored as a free speech absolutionist. As a result I am morally opposed to censorship. 2. It's not private. I don't like having people privy to my eye conversations. Three. Llama 2 now has a coding version and functions just the same as ChatGPT. 4. It's not ego. I just have a work style that isn't dependent on on technology as much as the average person. Or they don't work in an office and aren't doing anything much with their life. What's an AI going to do for someone who spends their days driving a taxi and watching TV? For example, I hate having to correct it when it says yes. I can do that and then gives the same non-working solution over and over again. I don't think of any way to make it useful for my life. It's cool and all and I fuck around with it a lot but that's hardly useful. I am not a software developer nor do I work in anything adjacent to it. I hear a lot about how great it is for software development. And that's fine. But what about for other industries? I work in sales. So far I've used it to write a letter of resignation for my old job. Revise my resume for my new job. And that's about it. I know I could use it to write professional sounding emails but I can do that myself. So for someone like me. What is it useful for? I'm genuinely asking. Also I've never used GPT-4. Only the free version. Is there any benefit to me upgrading?